And then you said, sing that sweet song again. And the guy who fell asleep, we go thought, I better go. And she started to run. The guy who woke up. Oh, God, cha. Oh, God, cha. Oh, God, cha. And he said, What did he say? Say it with me. Little girl, why for you? Move. Little girl said, I know move. Then he looked at that little girl. He said, Sing that sweet song. Uh, And the guy who fell asleep, the girl looked. She could see the roof of her house. And she saw the chimney. She saw smoke. Puffing out the chimney. And she thought, maybe, just maybe, if I run real quietly on my... I might be able to make it before the gunny wolf woke up. The little girl started to run real quietly. And then she picked the pace up a little bit. She got around the first bend in the road, she started to run a little faster. She got around the next bend in the road and she picked the pace up a little bit. She got around the next bend in the road, she started to run a little faster. She got around the last bend in the road and, and she was into her running mode! She ran! She ran! She ran! She ran, she ran, she ran, she ran. All the way up to that gate. She opened that gate, and that gate had three old, rusty hinges on it. And when she opened that gate, it sounded like... When she closed the gate, and she ran across the yard, over to the house, and she opened that door, and the door had three old, rusty hinges on it. It was open at that door, it sounded like... And she closed the door. And she made a mental note about WD-40. And she ran into the house and she sat in a big soft chair, picked up a nice picture book, and read for a while, and she fell asleep. And then the gunny wolf woke up and looked around and said, Oh! Oh! My gosh! I'm almost outside the forest. I better go deep into the woods where I'm the safest. And he looked on the ground. And what do you think he saw on the ground all around him? Flowers! Yeah! He saw flowers. And the gunny wolf said, Oh! I think I'll take these flowers home to my wife. Because the wolf has a wife in the woods too. And he picked those flowers up. And he started walking home. And do you know what song he sang as he walked home? And that's the story of the little girl and the gunny wolf. Thank you all very much for coming out to this park on this beautiful day. What a breeze. I hope you see the shape today. I hope this breeze follows you wherever you go today. Now, um, before I let you go, I want to uh, just...
just is uh, some poetry that needs to be heard. And uh, all poetry needs to be read aloud. Maybe some of my friends have some of the uh, books of this particular poet. His name is Shel Silverstein. And I know your parents and your grandparents know about Shel Silverstein. And it's so important to read aloud to the children and have them read aloud, especially uh, poems. And uh, Shel Silverstein wrote this poem, I, one of my favorite poems that he wrote. I'd like you to repeat after me, okay? I will not play at tug of war. I'd rather play at hug of war. Where everyone hugs instead of tugs. Where everyone giggles and rolls on the rug. And everyone cuddles and everyone grins. And everyone kisses and everyone wins. Thank you all for coming out. And, uh, thanks to all of the organizers of this wonderful gathering. And it's nice seeing my young friends in the school over there on the West Minnesota Street. Yeah, I have to come visit you again. Thank you all very much. Thank you.